Hello there, in this video we're going to take a look at this N-Saber Mandalorian Saber. It's currently available for sale on their website for $199 and I will leave a link to it down below. This is the second lightsaber I've reviewed. This is pretty well on a par with the first one. I'm not being paid for this review by the way, but they have sent me this lightsaber to take a look at. So it is still marked as a paid promotion. Here we have this rather delightful uh, lightsaber hilt made of metal. Uh, it actually does come with, unlike the other ones I've looked at, it comes with a pair of little gloves as well so that you can handle it without getting fingerprints all over it, which is a nice touch. Uh, as well as the hilt, we'll take a look at the features in more detail, by the way, in a moment. Comes with a little end sabers plaque here, and also a, looks like a sort of perspex stand. Nice, isn't it? Shiny. The end sabers plaque thing is actually recessed into this perspex, which it makes it a really nice touch. Um, so yeah, you could rest your lightsaber on there and display it. Over here we've got the instruction manual, which you really need for this lightsaber, I have to say, because there are so many functions and features on it. If you don't follow this, you'll never learn how to use the lightsaber. So good that it's got instructions. It's got a USB-C charging cable. Uh, if you unscrew the hilt, you can see the inner workings of the uh, lightsaber. There's actually a little SD card there. I think you can take that out actually and put your own sound effects on here, which is pretty cool. Um, there is actually a little USB-C port there for when you need to charge this. There is also a little Allen key and some grub screws. That is so that you can attach the blade to the lightsaber. I'll show you that in a moment. I've no idea what this is. I've looked it up on the internet. I've also looked in the instruction manual and I still have no idea. But, you know, that's half the fun with this kind of thing, isn't it? Learning what things are for. So if anyone can tell me what this is for, please let me know. We have the lightsaber blade itself. As you can see, there are little metal contacts on the end there. That's because this is what they call, I think, their NeoPixel blade. So the whole thing lights up and it looks really impressive. And essentially, it once you've taken all the lovely plastic off, it slots in there like that, and then you use the grub screws to tighten it in place. How do you use this lightsaber? Well, hold this button for a few seconds. Power on. Power on. And now to activate the lightsaber, you just twist it like that. And this is the red one. You probably can't see that very well because it's quite bright, but if I turn down the brightness on my camera, you can see that that is red. Obviously, as you move it, you get the lightsaber sort of waving sounds. If you press the button, you get sort of laser effects that are supposed to simulate um, some kind of laser pistol hitting the saber. 16 different sound fonts, nine different blade colors, nine different blade effects, and nine different boot effects as well. Twist to turn it on. And then there are other things you can do, like if you hold the button and That's twist. Yoda. I'm glad you're here. Hmm, only because I am needed. That's the first ignition type. If I hold this for two seconds. Ignition two. This is the second ignition type. Ignition three. As you can see, there are lots of different options on here. Um, so that's the ignition types. There's also three different volumes, which you do by holding it so that the button flashes once. If you hold it so that it flashes three times, blade effect. So if I do one, two, three, this is a different blade effect. One, two, three. Music six. Different blade effect again. So there's actually more effects actually than uh, appear to be listed in the instructions, to be honest. Um, let's have a look. Sound fonts. Hold it four times. One, two, three, four. I am told it is the dark saber. Oh. Okay, so there are different sound. That's quite nice. Different sound effects that you can have as well. One, two, three, four. Money. How do you change the blade color? Oh, I think you hold the button while you turn it on. Let's try that. Pause. 
Ah, oh, there we go. So we've got a green saver now. So I won't go through all the features, but you can see it's all kind of controllable just by holding this button until it flashes for a certain amount of times. There are also some other features as well that involve pressing the button. So I can see in the instruction things like when you hit the saber, when you drag the saber, and when you thrust the saber. Hold the button, then thrust the saber. That is a melt effect. Hold the button, then twist the saber. That is a force effect. There's also supposed to be some kind of hit effect as well. Okay, I had that disabled. So now, when I hit stuff, I get a nice clash effect. And then finally, to turn the saber off, hold the button for four seconds and it is now off, ready to be displayed. So all in all, yeah, it's a pretty good lightsaber to be honest. I'll leave a link to it down below if you want to check it out for yourself. Any questions, do ask me. Thanks to my law patrons who are scrolling down the screen now, especially George Foot, Jim McKay, Jennifer Jones, Samir Alamar and Rob Van Eden, who are extremely generous patrons. Do subscribe if you enjoy my videos and I shall see you next time for another one.